So, hi everyone. So I'm gonna be waiting for like a couple of minutes till uh, I see more uh, 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 people in the lives. I'm gonna be uh, in uh, uh, Toronto uh, Palestine Film, Film Festival uh, platforms both on uh, Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So it's gonna be a little bit looking at two different devices at the same time. So I'm really sorry if that bothers you a little bit. Hi Naji, hi everyone. So uh, I'm just gonna be uh, uh, doing a little tour in my house uh, showing some of my art pieces I have created here in Canada for the last uh, three years. Uh, hi Micheline. Uh, so um, I'm Hani Khouri, I'm originally from, uh, uh, from uh, 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 the Galili village of Ailaboun. It's beside Tiberias in, um, in Palestine. And um, I was actually born and raised in, um, in a very difficult identity, a, a very difficult community as, uh, as you know, someone who lives as a Palestinian inside of, of the occupied uh, Palestine and having all of this, you know, religion stories from back home. And we have uh, a different, you know, what do you want to consider yourself? Are you Palestinian? Are you Christian? Are you Arab? Are you this? Are you that? So this is uh, how, um, how uh, our story begins from that area, specifically from that uh, uh, place where we suffer basically about um, just having the, the right identity and, and the right, you know, uh, how you want to consider yourself. But with the time, um, when I grow up, I start, you know, reading uh, articles and, and seeing the news and having arguments with my family and my friends and the people in, the, in, the, in my village. And just, I start to understand how things go in the world. And I start to understand exactly how things are uh, in my hometown and in, in, in Palestine in general. And this is how I did develop my, uh, my thoughts at the beginning. And this is how I did develop my uh, personality as an artist and uh, my personality as a human being to begin with. And then this is how I started to develop my, um, uh, uh, my uh, uh, art identity to begin with. So, and with the time I start to realize that I should be it translating my thoughts and my fears and my identity and even the difficult parts of my identity through my artwork. So this is exactly how things should work for, for the artist because art is basically the visual memory of, of us as a human being. So in the history, this is how we got uh, all of the development of, of us as, as humans through art, to, through visual art, like many languages and many uh, uh, many languages and many books and and uh, and uh, 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 like things from the history was disappeared because of you know what happened in the history and the only thing we got from our uh, uh, our humans from the past is the visual memory of, of us as a human being so it's very important for us as a Palestinian people to be you know translating our story as as a community and to be translating our uh, uh, story in individually as a human being. And so this is how uh, the art uh, story uh, uh, began with me. And I was inspired by many, many artists, local artists to begin with, and many, uh, you know, global and international artists from the history and artists who, who are still alive. Uh, I want to mention many, many names, but I'm not gonna be like I'm not gonna. I don't wanna uh, go into uh, other other um, you know artists' story. I wanna stick uh, in this interview in my story. And then if if you have any question or if you have any like consider or you wanna know exactly where my, my art came from or, uh, and how is the development of this uh, art stories, you can actually go to my uh, Facebook account or my Instagram and just make a quick. Uh, question and I'll be answering everything uh, uh, you need to be uh, answered. So I'm gonna uh, actually hold the two devices in my hands and go for uh, the tour. It's gonna be a little difficult. Uh. So 
This is an art piece I have created, like this is 2020. Uh, but it was actually based on, um, on uh, you know, uh, 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 the war of Gaza 2016. Uh, I remember seeing the news and watching uh, uh, a, a plane like pumping Gaza's uh, city. And uh, it was just sad for me just to look at the news. And I have created, you know, the artist is, is basically gets affected by by his memories from, from his childhood and from from many many things that happens with him in the history so this is an actual piece of uh, of how i did got affected by by 2006 gaza's war and this is another piece re remembering that at the same year we had like to celebrate um, the new years during uh, gaza's war and i'm looking at the table i'm looking at the food i couldn't touch the food because of you know the uh, 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 the visual like how 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 people are suffering in gaza and we're celebrating so i couldn't look at the table and i saw it abstract uh, abstract uh, kind of uh, uh, you know um, image and i did um, paint the table with uh, with uh, you know the food on it so this is uh, one uh, one art piece I want to show you. And if you have any questions, actually, this is a good timing to be asking questions um, uh, uh, about my art pieces. I'm going to be answering questions. This is another art piece uh, I've done this year. It's, it's about my childhood uh, memory. This is uh, the guy up, upstairs. He's, he's my childhood invisible friend. This is me as a child. And this is my cat, Yafa. I don't know if she's, she's here. Actually, she's here. I'm going to show you my cat, Yafa. Hi, Yafa. How are you? <laughs> so this is the, the art piece called Yafa. It's about my childhood and how is my uh, uh, cat animal is connected to, to, uh, to my childhood till, till today. So this was made... This was made, um, uh, th that's a good question. This was made uh, like oil in canvas. I'm gonna uh, actually go immediately to how I do develop my art pieces. I'm gonna be showing you here some sketches of how I develop my characters to begin with. So I do take an emotion or a movement kind of, and I'll take this movement to a place where it, it, develops, it develops and and you know, it makes sense to me to put it or to have it on the art piece itself. So this is some sketches I have done for the newest, the latest art piece I've done. This is the final sketch. And uh, I'm gonna be showing you the actual art piece that I've made with this sketch. This is the actual art piece that I have made. And uh, actually it was sold for an art collector. His name uh, is uh, Othman uh, Gassous. He's from Montreal, so this art piece is gonna be shipped very soon to Montreal. So it talks about uh, it talks about the pandemic that we're going through uh, during COVID nineteen and how how things are being difficult um, emotionally and with the you know um, how we're looking at things and and this is actually each one of us like this character is is one character is how we feel like in the morning we feel something in the evening we feel something we we sleep on a different feeling and it's difficult for us and it things makes no sense at this uh, period but you know we're still hold, holding in there and we always uh, we always gonna have hope and like very high hope for how things uh, are gonna be in the future Uh, someone uh, asked me about the abstract art pieces. So abstract art pieces is it talks about more emotions more than uh, you know. Uh, I used to paint hyper realistic art pieces, but with the time, you know, I think hyper realistic was was me describing my my um, the world how I see the world from the outside. But abstract talks about how I feel the world from the inside. So. I think yeah, abstract makes me makes me describe my feelings more than hyper realistic. That's why I have developed my art pieces to be more into the you know uh, uh, abstract uh, art pieces. So this is another piece. 
And uh, as long as we're talking about the pandemic, I'm gonna uh, show you another piece talks about the pandemic. So this art piece um, was uh, uh, developed at the beginning of, of this pandemic. And uh, uh, for the last, uh, let's say, six, seven months, I have been um, making an art pieces talks about uh, the capitalism in the world. And I have represented the capitalism with this uh, water tap that, uh, you know, gives the world kind of uh, uh, just the continuous of, of this system. And um, I have represented uh, this uh, um, uh, water tap in many, many art pieces. Um, so it talks about how life stopped and how everyone is freaked out because, you know, uh, this pandemic is, is closing the, the, capital, the capitalism system or it closes the, uh, the water tap. So I don't know what happened on Instagram. I'm, I'm uh, going live again on Instagram. And this is another piece, um, you know, I was, as I told you before, I was raised and born in, uh, in a very uh, difficult and, uh, you know, uh, uh, you don't know exactly how to consider yourself or your identity exactly. So this talks about me being like, I was really in, in a church. I was born and raised in Elabun and I was, I was connected, very connected to the church in Elabun. And you can actually see many... Um, uh, uh, many things that that's affected by by you know religious and uh, um, you know stories from the Bible and you know uh, those kind of things. So this talks about the Christ, but my own Christ. Like I have uh, you know created my own uh, character of of this um, a period of time from the Holy Land. So I'm gonna be showing some some uh, paintings like really close, so you can see the. Yeah, so I, I, I'm, uh, I'm being asked again about, uh, you know, um, what artists or painters I was inspired by growing up. So I was really inspired uh, growing up with, uh, like, with many, many artists, uh, uh, local artists and, you know, uh, 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 global or international artists. Like, I have read many, many stories and I have tried to capture many, many uh, emotions and feelings for other artists and art copying art pieces. And this is how you actually develop your artwork. When you try to copy other artists growing up, this is where you get the, the good tech technique and with the time you start to, to create your own style. So this is another piece called Revolution. It's about the pandemic uh, uh, again. It's about like, it's like uh, Adam and Hawa again. Like this is the 2020 Adam, uh, uh, Adam and Eve. Um, looking up, to the sky and hoping that things are gonna get better uh, in the future. So why do I paint a little bit like uh, naked bodies in my paintings? Because this is this is how we were born. This is I feel like every time I, I make an art piece, like it's like a new child. Uh, was born this is how i look at things and this is how i feel about my art pieces like each piece is is basically uh, i feel like a, a a a child was born or like a new birth so that's why i i'm connected very connected to naked uh, you know uh, bodies this is another piece this is an abstract piece see an artist can you know can try many many uh, uh, and different uh, uh, you know ways how to make art he can he can sometimes he can you know uh, paint realistic sometimes he can go to abstract he can run into the uh, capitalism or whatever it's just you have to be comfortable making art this is the main thing is it's just you as an artist being confident and comf comfortable in in the place where you make art this is uh, what makes sense
This is another piece about the water tap. And this is another piece. The water tap is basically the plant that gives water. Like this is, so about the art piece, art piece shouldn't be something beautiful to hang in your wall. This is what I believe. Okay, sometimes the art piece is beautiful. You can hang it and enjoy it in your wall. But I think artwork it should make you think should make you think about what the artist meant by by making this artwork and why is he why did he do that or or why did he what is he trying to say and reading the artwork shouldn't be from the artist itself so when you look at the artwork you have to take it to your own world and to explain it uh, from your own uh, uh, thoughts and spirits it shouldn't be like the artist explaining his artwork this is another piece I'm going to be showing you this is a, an animal is trying to uh, to drink uh, uh, disappeared water that does not exist. This is actually talks about the uh, Palestinians who lives inside of, uh, of the uh, uh, occupied occupied uh, uh, Palestine. It talks about how we always try to you know to drink this. Uh, 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 unknown or unseen water that we're trying to seek into the places where we can develop our personalities or our identity but it's it's not as as easy as it looks like yeah about the uh, the palestinian mona lisa so basically i i have painted the mona lisa when i was 19 uh, because i was trying to challenge myself myself back then and um, Every time I paint something, a friend comes to me and say, says like, can you paint the Mona Lisa? Like the Mona Lisa was, was a challenging th thing for me, proving that I am a real artist or I can, yes, I can paint the Mona Lisa looks like the original Mona Lisa. So I have uh, painted the Mona Lisa when I was nine. When I was uh, basically 19, I painted the Mona Lisa and I looked like, and I looked at it and everyone kept saying, this is an amazing art piece. It looks like the original uh, art piece and I was like yeah but I'm missing something so then I have decided to add the, uh, the Palestinian kofia and to have to have like our own Palestinian uh, Mona Lisa and it, it become it's it's a very famous art piece um, it's a very famous uh, art art piece and um, actually it was printed as a postcard and it was uh, it was sold in, in the old uh, Jerusalem and it was sold to many, many places around the world. I don't know who did print it, but I was really happy about the idea itself. And the art piece itself, it was sold um, uh, to uh, Dr. Amin Al-Far. So there's an actual, uh, like, it's, I, I don't have it anymore. And I was asked to repaint it again. And uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it in the future, but I think I'm going to be making another one. We'll see how things are going to go. So this is another piece called uh, The Day I Was Born. So this art piece um, is about the moment. This is how I, I, this is how I felt. Uh, just looking back at my childhood and, and the things that I remember from my childhood and where I was born and raised. And I, did, I just think about how, how complicated are things. And I have created many, many, you know, art pieces that talks about that moment, about the day I was born or the moment I was born. I'm gonna be showing another art piece in here. Thank you, Sarah. I see many uh, family and friends enjoying us to the live. Uh, so hi, everyone. And, and uh, I'm really thankful having lots of people in my life supporting me uh, all the time since I was a kid. Uh, I'll start with my mom and, you know, uh, uh, the, my closest family and my friends and, and uh, many, many names that comes to my head right now uh, to support me during uh, the COVID-19 as well.
yeah about the making living uh, of of art so it's not easy actually i was it's it's very challenging and it's very difficult uh, uh, just to think about how can you make um how can you make a living from your artwork because it's not an easy thing to be in in the art market and to sell your artwork and to convince the collectors that you are an important artist that you have to hold an art piece from but um you have to stick into the idea and and to continue working no matter what like how difficult things can be or, or how how crazy things can be you have to stick into your artwork and keep going and this is my advice to to all the uh, all of the uh, new generation or new artists that is trying like anyone is trying to make an artwork you have to keep going like don't stop making art no matter what because one day they're gonna realize how good you are and they're gonna be uh, wanna be you know uh, wanna buy an art piece from you so alhamdulillah and i i have sold many many pieces for the last uh, three four years and i'm uh, i have many art pieces uh, were sold to يعني, places that يعني, i'm very thankful to to sell my art pieces for for those places uh, it's not an easy thing actually to 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 live uh, to make a living from your artwork but you know sometimes you do sometimes you don't that's okay so about the challenge um, about the challenge making an artwork it is challenging because you have you cannot stick in one place making artwork it's it's a journey um, you, because you know the people who's, who's following you and the people who wants to it makes sense for them to to, uh, to look to keep an eye on you in our art art world they want to see you how you're evolving with the artwork and you cannot be stuck in one place you have to keep going all the time and you have to make you know uh, to, to challenge yourself impress impressing yourself to begin with and then this is how you impress other people Yes, I am still painting during this time. This is actually a very inspiring time because, you know, art doesn't come from happiness or it does. It's, it's good to be happy and making an artwork. It's, I think it's a healing process for me. In, individually, it's a healing process making an artwork because, you know, you deal with, uh, with the inside, um, inside pain, inside, inside thoughts, inside um, uh, concerns and stuff. So now during the covid 19 it's it's not about me individually as an artist as an artist it's it's about us as a human being as as the, the existence of 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 us as a human being so it's not very um easy to make an artwork because there's many many emotions and strong feelings about what's happening and a lot of people are depressed and you know capturing the, those feelings is, is not an easy thing so for those interested actually you can buy an artwork you can contact me through uh, social media i can i see some comments uh, on the um, uh, uh, on facebook you can actually uh, follow me on Instagram and just give me a, a quick, you know, inbox and I'll uh, look at it and we can move from there. Um, you know, ab about, you know, making art and selling artwork is not, is not the main thing making art. It's, it's about sharing your story. Like, I would love each one of you to have an art piece from my artwork in, in your houses. Like, I want that to happen because this is how you share your story. This is how you share your thoughts is is having your art pieces on other people's houses and it just makes me happy it's just like me being alive forever this is how it feels yeah i can um, yeah about the background where where the artwork came from and as i said before like this is how i develop my art my artwork i be, i start with with the idea itself like the subject what i want to talk about and um and then I, I see, every time I think about subject, I see the painting before I do paint it. And, and as I say, I, I was inspired or I was um, affected by many, many artists and many, many, you know, things to start with, uh, with the church where I was uh, born and raised with my family, with, with all of the, you know, 
uh, stops in my life where I felt uh, maybe angry when I when I felt when I was afraid when I was you know I have many feelings that can develop the characters that, that I'm working with and every time I do a character I do want I don't want to make the same character again like every time I want to do something I want to do something different that talks about one more thing to add something to the world like I don't want to be creating the same same art piece like each time I do art because as you see, like each each art piece I make is totally different than the other. So the artwork comes actually from the from a different places in my in my experience in life. Thank you, Naji. Naji, you are amazing. I uh, am so happy to have you, and I and uh, and I am very thankful to. Uh, for uh, uh, Mrs. Haifa Najjar and uh, Mr. Costa Warwar to uh, introduce uh, introduce me to you, and I'm happy doing that. And uh, I know it's a difficult time for the uh, for the uh, 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 Toronto Palestine Film Festival. And I just wanted to say one more thing. This is another uh, art piece I have in here that I wanna uh, give away. Uh, to fund the uh, organization, to, f to fund the Palestine, uh, Toronto Palestine Film Festival. So this one is available for sale to fund the organization. So if you are interested in my artwork and you want to uh, help uh, um, uh, Toronto Palestine uh, Film Festival organization, you can actually contact me through uh, my Instagram and, I, uh, and the sale and the fund is going to go to the uh, organization uh, 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 to help it during this uh, this uh, period of time. I'm gonna show a quick, you know, uh, another time. Hi, mom. My mom is watching. No worries, Habibi. So I'm very happy and uh, thankful doing that. And actually, uh, next Saturday I'm gonna be doing another live with uh, um, uh, the Museum of uh, Palestinian People with Washington D.C., which is I'm glad I'm doing that as well. And I hope I uh, I am supporting uh, those organizations in Canada and the U.S. because I do like I wanna be um, a part of of those uh, organizations and. I, I'm ha I'm very ha happy to uh, 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 to be supporting this um, organizations. Uh, what is the name of the piece for the T R F F? So the name of the piece is um, a Healing Process. Uh, it's a series I did. There were like three pieces, two of them gone, and this is the uh, the, the last one that's available. is another piece I want to be showing see now because of COVID-19 like um, I wanted to buy more canvases but I couldn't I couldn't find any uh, available or open uh, store to buy an art in art canvas and uh, so that's why I have decided to use uh, this material to paint on because you know as an artist you have to keep going you cannot stop so I've, I've been making art pieces um, on those babies and I'm gonna be sh showing those art pieces in the future inshallah when when everything when the galleries are open so about my Guinness World Record this is the certificate for my Guinness World Record uh, so I did broke a Guinness World Record 2015 in Nazareth uh, for the largest toast mosaic actually you can see uh, again you can see this uh, record on my Instagram I'm gonna I'm gonna share actually the uh, the art piece on 
with the full story in my story on Instagram. Yes, I am a Guinness World Record holder. So um, I did the, uh, the poet uh, Taha Muhammad Ali. He is a poet from Nazareth and he, uh, all of his writings about the, the simple Palestinian life from, uh, from, you know, back in the history. And I did love his, uh, his, uh, his, you know, writings and I wanted, he was inspired doing that. So I'm glad I'm doing that again, and um, um, again, if uh, you are interested of, uh, you know, uh, following me on Instagram, uh, seeing my uh, upcoming projects, I have many, many ideas, I'm, I'm going to be making a lot of uh, shows all over the world, I would be more than happy to, uh, to contact you, to answer your questions, and uh, a lot of things, and I want to... Um, I want to thank all the people that supported me for the last couple of years. Uh, especially, I want to I want to thank Mr. Ayman Antanis, who is basically uh, like adopted my my art uh, talent here in Canada, and we're running an amazing project uh, called uh, um, um, Abilities. I'm not gonna uh, say many many things about uh, about this project, but it's gonna be something that's gonna help other artists from all over the world to express themselves and to sell their artwork. And yeah, thank you, Micheline. <laughs> I'm going to thank uh, my cousin, Micheline, because she's like, you're welcome. Yes, thank you, Micheline. And um, yeah, uh, so I'm sharing, I'm sharing the Abilities Gallery's uh, link on Facebook. You can see it and you can just uh, join the, uh, the, the page. And uh, thank you very much, and uh, uh, and thank you, my friend uh, Abed Baron, for his help. Like his, uh, uh, he helps a lot with everything. Help help me to organize my art uh, pieces today. And uh, he's uh, such a good help for you know designing things and uh, uh, developing my career on social media. So thank you very much, and I hope to see you uh, soon in Toronto showing my art pieces. And uh, we'll keep in touch. Thank you.